All right, so I guess we have to do this again. And I'm sure it's not gonna be the last time, but I think it needs to be said for all the people that have a goldfish memory or people that just don't remember in general, but the like to dislike system on YouTube, the ratio, the engagement of like and disliking a video does not really affect the video in any way when it comes to YouTube. It doesn't suppress the video, doesn't affect the channel negatively. It doesn't do anything really, okay? It has become just a tool for creators to use if they choose to, to go into their videos and going, okay, how many people like dislike this? Do I wanna change my content to maybe get more likes than dislikes? That is all it does. There's this fallacy, this misunderstanding of how the system works and what it does, and it's just not true. We're gonna go through all of it uh, in regards to the Acolyte trailer, which is the one that we're gonna be talking about in this video, and how I can prove that the system is still being manipulated, how I can prove that the system doesn't affect anything, why it doesn't affect anything, and why we shouldn't give a shit about whether or not a video has more likes than dislikes. Uh, because the like and dislike system ultimately is just an engagement tool. So when somebody on YouTube goes, hey, like, comment, subscribe, um, they simply mean engage, whether you like or dislike, because a creator knows they can't control that factor. Uh, but they're gonna say it anyway, because they want that engagement. And speaking of that engagement, it's a perfect time to do this. If you go on to enjoy this video and you like this content, you wanna see more stuff like this, and you wanna be part of the system fighting back against the negative algorithm, join the revolution, become part of the Ericverse today, subscribe to the channel, like or dislike, and leave a comment down below. All right, with that being said, let's talk about the Acolyte trailer. So as of right now, as of filming this video and this tweet, and I'm sure the numbers have gone up by the time you watch this, uh, the Acolyte trailer has more dislikes than likes over on YouTube. I actually wish that outlets like Discussing Film and some of these other places would stop reporting on this uh, because it's just, all of it's wrong, okay? And, and again, we're gonna go through that. First and foremost, uh, it doesn't affect your video. The like to dislike thing doesn't affect, if you're a content creator here on YouTube and you see that you're getting more dislikes than likes, it doesn't matter. My videos are very divisive. Most of my videos skate the, the center of likes and dislikes sometimes having more likes, sometimes having more dislikes, but usually somewhere in the middle because I know that my topics are gonna be divisive. And YouTube realizes that a lot of content creators create divisive content. So they wouldn't suppress their videos or their channels based on that. It doesn't make any sense. However, I could look at these numbers if they were my channel and go, hey, maybe I should change it up if I wanna get more, more likes on my video. I want the, the people that are watching my videos to be this demographic. If I wanted to do that, I could. Otherwise, I would just ignore it because YouTube actually made the numbers invisible because they realized that they do not have control over how their likes and dislikes will function because people can have unlimited Google accounts. Surprise, surprise, someone can have 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 Google accounts if they want, um, if they're that obsessed with, with engaging with content this way, then go over and do this and it just basically dislike videos into oblivion because they just have so many accounts to do that. YouTube has the metrics, they have the numbers, they knew this is what was happening, which is why they took away the dislike feature anyway. Now. For me personally, I didn't care if likes and dislikes were displayed. Um, it was always superficial to me. And it seems like it's just used now as a way to divide fandoms, to jump into the culture war and say, hey, this is getting more likes than blah, blah, blah. But typically that's not how it works. It's usually like, hey, this is getting more dislikes. I can't remember the last time that I saw a post about like a metric when it came to likes. It's always with dislikes, which goes to show you that the negativity is what it feeds into and things like that. So Right away, multiple accounts. YouTube knows that people can create multiple accounts. They can go and uh, dislike bomb videos. They know this is happening. This is why they made the system inv invisible. And regardless of the fallacy of it suppressing channels, that is not true. The people that say that only say that because they want you to buy in to the value of the likes and dislikes on a trailer. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The entire reason this trailer is getting disliked is because so many people in the fandom menace community and expanding outside of the fandom menace community have pretty much decided they're going to astroturf every single thing that comes out from star wars regardless of what it is they they don't they don't want anything in star wars to be good and so they have to astroturf everything and once you see them artificially inflating dislikes asking people to dislike stuff uh, telling people to go over and downvote something because they just don't want them they want it to look bad once you start seeing that you realize that these things are not quote unquote objectively bad things. Like if the trailer were getting a uh, organic amount of dislikes, like people were just going over and disliking a trailer organically, um, you wouldn't see those guys asking people to go and dislike the trailer, encouraging them to go and dislike the trailer. 
which they do. And it's not their first time doing it. And before you like, oh, Eric, show the receipts. Here we go. Here's Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers going, if you downvote the Acolyte trailer, he, she, it is going to F5 all of your man babies. So here he is, one of the many I've seen online with large followings, encouraging their followers to go over and dislike this trailer. And this isn't the first time they've done that. This breaks the whole illusion. Whatever glamour they're wearing right now, this, this idea that the trailer is objectively bad and that people don't want it, once you start encouraging people to go over and downvote something, once you start encouraging people to go over to Rotten Tomatoes and all these other sites and start leaving negative reviews and stuff, once you start encouraging people to do that, you have broken the illusion of objectively bad things. You can't say something is organically and objectively bad if you have to encourage people to go over and engage with it in a negative way. You have admitted in this action that these things aren't bad and that you want your community to artificially make them look that way. Let's be straight up here. The entire reason they dislike this trailer, I'm not going to pull up any of the stuff here because it is just absolutely egregious, is because there are women of color, women in general, Maybe, I think there's a trans actress that's going to be in the series. We have no idea, from what I could tell, if the role is going to be a trans character or if it's just a trans actress playing a character that the, the gender is not specified. We, we have no idea. This feels like the X-Men 97 thing all over again, which, by the way, they completely fumbled on that one. None of the shit they claimed was going to happen with X-Men 97 happened, and they shut up about it. I haven't seen any videos from them. Maybe there's videos now. I haven't seen any from them uh, claiming otherwise. So here we are. They've jumped onto something else. They do not fix the problems they complain about. They just want to complain. They just want to be assholes. They just want to be idiots and, and bigots, uh, homophobes, racists. That's, that's what they want to do. They don't want to fix anything. They're not offering you anything in return for trying to take away the stuff you love. Stop letting them do this. Stop, stop doing their shit for them. Let these guys be miserable. You don't have to be. You really don't have to be. If there's something that you love that you no longer love anymore, it's okay to let go. It's okay to walk away from it and find something else. Um, artificially creating a negative space for media is so fucking childish and stupid. And I just, I, I try to figure out like, what what do they get out of this? Is it the dopamine from from watching the dislikes happen? Is that what it is? Because it doesn't mean anything. If you're, if you're a fan of the, of the Acolyte based on the trailer and you want to see this series and you're excited about it, do not let these people convince you otherwise because their reality is not real. They live in a fictional fake universe where they are uh, monetarily uh, incentivized to create this kind of atmosphere. Stop letting them drive the narrative for you.